All right, hitting. Uh, number one thing with hitting, explain to the person you're working with, it's hard. It's a very difficult skill to master and it takes a lot of time. Uh, and so I like to, the younger the hitter, I like to really keep it simple. Uh, you can get into all those details of keeping your front shoulder on, pinch your knees, uh, weight back, hands over your toe, uh, you know, don't yank your front shoulder, all those kinds of things you can do that. But with a young hitter, it's just going to blow their mind. And so um, as hitters get more experience and they develop attack plans at the plate and they start to learn their swing and that kind of thing, uh, those little key keynotes that I think are important as the hitters progress are great. But when they're young, keep it simple. Uh, you know, you got a kid that's pulling off his front shoulder, put something opposite field of them and have them try to hit that ball uh, towards that object. That'll keep the front shoulder on, that'll keep them from stepping to the uh, base, to their uh, backside, which, uh, you know, stepping in a bucket, whatever you want to refer to it as. Uh, that'll help fix all those things. You know, I, I really want to teach uh, to drive up the middle, uh, balance up with that. So the video you're going to see here is a nine-year-old and a, and a three-year-old, and both of them uh, both have objects. Uh, the nine-year-old, there's a pine tree out front. We have a tee. I love tee work. Uh, and he's just trying to drive that ball over that tee. The uh, three-year-old is literally trying to hit the ball straight out in front to opposite center because the younger they are, they tend to pull off more. So we're really celebrating opposite field. And he's just trying to hit it past the last ball he hit. Like I said, uh, game of failure, keep it fun, keep it simple, and uh, get out there and be active.